Sprains versus strains. What's the difference and how do we tell? A sprain, very simply, is an injury to a ligament, a stretching or a tearing sometimes. A strain, however, is an injury to either a muscle or a tendon. And depending on the severity of the strain, it may be a simple overstretch of the muscle or tendon, or it can also be a partial or complete tearing of that tissue. Sprains occur when people fall or land on an outstretched arm, for example, slide into a base, land on the side of their foot, or twist a knee while their foot is firmly planted on the ground. Sounds painful. Well, it usually is. This results in overstretching or tearing of the ligament that supports a particular joint. Remember, ligaments only travel from bone to bone. That's all they do. They're support structures, essentially, that are passive. In other words, we don't get to tell our ligaments to be tighter or be looser like we get to tell our muscles to tighten and produce force or power for us. Ligaments are just there as supporting structures that support our joints. Think of them like scaffolding. Sprains can occur in the upper and lower parts of your body. One of the most common injuries in the United States is ankle sprains. Signs and symptoms of sprains usually include swelling, bruising, loss of the ability to move or use the joint, which we call your functional ability. And signs and symptoms can also vary in intensity depending on the severity of the sprain. Sometimes feel or describe hearing a pop or a tear when the injury happens. A grade one or mild sprain indicates a slight tearing with no resulting joint instability. Think of a rubber band that you stretch a little bit and then it goes right back to its original length. A grade two or moderate sprain is a partial tearing of the ligament and can be characterized by bruising, some moderate pain and swelling. Um, these people usually have a little bit of difficulty putting weight on the affected joint and they can experience a minor loss of function. Grade three or severe sprains uh, describe complete tears or ruptures in ligaments uh, that are characterized by pain, swelling, and usually bruising, which is one of the hallmarks of a grade three or severe sprain. Now we're gonna talk about strains caused often by twisting or pulling of our muscles or of our tendons. Two really common sites for strains are in the back and in the hamstring muscle, the one that's located at the back of our thigh. Contact sports like soccer, football, hockey, boxing, and wrestling are some things that can put people at risk for strains. Or, like lifting something like lifting a heavy box out in a garage can also cause muscle strains. Elbow strains occur in people, for example, who participate in racket sports, throwing sports, and other contact sports. Or you can have an elbow strain if you're a carpenter and you've been using uh, a screwdriver manually for a long, long time at work. Acute strains, they can be caused by trauma or injury, such as a blow to the body, or something like improperly lifting a heavy object or overstressing a muscle. Chronic strains are usually from overuse. And outside of the signs and symptoms that we described for uh, sprains, Strain signs and symptoms include pain, muscle spasm, and oftentimes muscle weakness. Sometimes there's some tissue swellings, cramping, inflammation, and with a minor or moderate strain, you're usually gonna have a little bit of loss of function. Patients will typically describe pain in the injured area, generalized weakness of the muscle when they attempt to move it, and sometimes with a severe strain that characterized partially or completely torn muscles, um, these are the types of injuries that actually cause significant disability or loss of function. Hopefully, you're now able to think about and differentiate sprains and strains. Again, a sprain is an injury to a ligament and a strain is an injury to a muscle or tendon.